amazing. Hotel, you're uh, we're such big fans of yours. Um, and you know, Diane Farr is the president's chief chief of staff, and it's very hard to read. What can you tell me? What drew you to this role in the night agent? I've been really lucky that the roles that have come my way um, are roles that I'm also equally interested in. And I was a fan of Sean Ryan, his previous shows. And when he reached out and invited me to come and be a part of that part of the show, it was a really easy. Yes. Um, I have never been a part of this genre, political thriller. I've, I've seen a lot of thrillers, political thrillers, and it's sort of, um, a, a wonderful opportunity to, to, to play because uh, everything is so high stakes and, and that's really fun. Um, when I first started, I, I asked Sean, because the, the show does veer quite a bit from the book that it's based on, and I asked him what, why and, and what he wanted to do with the show and what did he want to say other than to entertain an, uh, an audience? And he said something really interesting. He said he wanted to explore the different dynamics between men and women in a professional environment. And uh, you see that with my character and you see that with Gabe and Luciani's character, but also with the Secret Service agents and, and even the, the the two hit people. And, um, and I thought that was uh, such an interesting question to have running in the back of our our brains as we were filming the show. Um, and for Diane Farr specifically, we, we talked at length about what her motivations were because, you know, uh, there, she does find herself in, in some really difficult situations. And so the question is, well, why does she do the things that she does? And we all agreed that Diane Farr really truly believes in the president and her agenda and how it can make the country better. And so she's really doing it for her country. Uh, Diane Farr does not have a family. She doesn't have a beau and, <laughs> or, or a girlfriend. Um, we, she has no personal life. She just works and thinks about her job 24 seven. And that is completely satisfying to her and it's enough. And I don't know if we often see uh, female characters like that. We see a ton of, of, of male characters all the time. And, 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 you know, we sort of take it for granted. But I thought that it was kind of um, unusual because we did have those questions earlier, early on, like, well, do we want to show her um, with like a significant other or, or anything like that? And, and we were okay with saying no. <laughs> You know, so that was really interesting to me. And um, and then it was fun to get to create her look because I think the character is a, a quite a bit older than I am in, in real life. And um, I sent Sean Ryan a, a picture of my friend, Susan Choi. She's an author. She wrote Trust Exercise. And I think Susan is a total fox and she has this beautiful silver hair. And uh, I, I said, I would like for my character to look like this as much as possible. And, um, and, and he was a little bit taken aback because it is, it, it does look so different from how I look in real life. And, um, and thankfully our hair department head, Caroline is uh, a, a wig master. And um, we came up with a, a really nice piece that I, I enjoyed a lot. Well, you know, we, you look amazing, the silver fox, because Asian don't raisin, so I could totally see. <laughs> well, you know what else it was? Um, I think because of the pandemic, a lot of women were letting their natural hair color mm -hmm. come through because we weren't going to hair salons. And it was just so nice to get to see all of these older women with their natural hair color. And I guess in some way, this was like some, like a tribute to that, of what yeah. I was seeing all around me. We always see the head of departments and advisors that are women, uh, particularly women of color, always trying to fix the mistakes that the um, situation done by men, particularly white men. Um, do you feel like this is becoming a trope or do you feel like we just do the job better? <laughs> oh, um, I think, I mean, look, we're dealing with Washington, D.C. There is a lot of messes that need to be cleaned up like every day and who's responsible for it. I, you know, <laughs> uh, there's, there's, uh, you can sort of 
pinpoint it to a certain group just because it's the majority um, in, in, in that particular arena. So I think it's interesting that on our show, we have a female president and that's not something that has uh, happened yet in real life, but it was really fun to get to, to imagine that while we were working on the show and hopefully it all prepares us for when it does finally happen. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. And I look forward for everyone to see this show. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Take care. Professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you. Talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard knock line. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play, so check this.